During this video, you will learn what land degradation is, how it is caused, its impacts, and how we can mitigate it. Land degradation is a natural or man-made process that impairs the land's ability to operate efficiently within an ecosystem. Different types of land degradation are various types of soil degradation, vegetation degradation, and water resources degradation. Land degradation can happen for a number of reasons, but in this video, we will look at the following five reasons. Let's look at each in greater detail. Deforestation and the removal of natural vegetation for fuel wood, agriculture, and industry are rising at an alarming rate, resulting in significant land degradation on 579 million hectares, with Asia accounting for 50% and South America accounting for 17% of the total. For example, it is believed that just 4 to 6% of Ethiopia is currently wooded, compared to 40% previously. Another example is the Ivory Coast, which lost more than half of its forest in less than three decades. Vegetation overgrazing is most destructive, where cattle congregate near watering holes, degrading the soil. Overgrazing accounts for 679 million hectares, making it by far the most significant source of human-induced soil degradation in Africa and Asia. Stock grazing is the most common use of dry land, and is often considered a significant contributor to desertification. In Patagonia, the intense grazing pressure, from sheep, has been blamed for soil deterioration. Globally, poor agricultural land management results in land degradation across 552 million hectares. On former grasslands, inappropriate and or heavy machinery is used, and steep slopes are farmed in places with limited rainfall. Crop land that is left exposed is vulnerable to water and wind erosion. Globally, excessive use of vegetative cover for household purposes impacts 133 million hectares. Overexploitation of vegetation for household use in South America is mostly limited to arid terrain areas of northwest Argentina and southern Bolivia, where shrub is harvested for fuel. Soil deterioration, caused by bio-industrial operations, impacts over 23 million hectares, nearly all of which are in Europe. These activities also account for minor regions of deterioration of dry land surrounding Tehran, in northern Iran, as a result of industrial pollution, as well as in the Aral Sea Basin, as a result of pesticide overuse. Its consequences can be far-reaching, including soil fertility loss, species habitat destruction, and biodiversity loss, soil erosion, and excessive nutrient runoff into lakes. Land degradation also has severe consequences for humans, such as starvation, sickness, forced migration, cultural harm, and even war. Land degradation, at its worst, can result in desertification or land abandonment, or both. Prolonged drought, and the loss of agricultural land, may have had a role in the wars in Sudan and Syria. According to new research, land degradation affects 43% of the world's population. According to the research, there will be 4 billion people living in drylands by 2050. The United Nations defines these as areas with an aridity ratio of less than 0.65, indicating that the amount of water lost considerably exceeds the amount of precipitation received. Such places, particularly in Sub-Saharan Africa and the Middle East, are extremely vulnerable to food, and water shortages. What can we do as citizens, particularly those of us who live in cities and have little direct connection with nature? The most apparent solution is to consume less meat and, more broadly, to educate ourselves about the origins and consequences of the food we buy, including its packaging, fuel, and transportation. But, as essential as individual decisions are, the problem extends beyond them. Underlying structural issues must be addressed. These are issues at a national and international level that focus on the economy before the environment. This attitude is slowly changing, and hopefully large international projects can commence that focus on reducing deforestation, land reclamation, preventing salinization, and conservation tillage. This is not an exhaustive list, but a start. In this video, you have learnt what land degradation is, how it is caused, its impacts, and how we can mitigate it. 